Let's go. Anytime a new quarterback comes to town, everybody wants to try and figure that quarterback out. What makes him tick? I've been through a lot in my career, been through a lot the last couple years, and so, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm in a great spot right now. You know, for me, I want to be the best player that I can be uh, to help this team win. And so, you know, I, I hold myself to a high standard. Uh, there's an expectation. What do you do in those uh, times when no one's around, no one notices what's going on that makes you who you are today? I would say that uh, there's a lot of time spent studying the game, studying what we're doing, studying to make sure that I know that I can react quickly to whatever is going to be going on. And uh, I think I can pull from experiences. I can pull from just the amount of games that I've played. And uh, you know, I think that's going to help me out this year. And goodbye! Touchdown! Dalton goes deep in tight coverage off the play action. In terms of your relationships with your skill position players, your offensive line, has there been adequate enough time for you to really get to know what they need and what you need from them. That's one thing that we spent with OTAs and training camp is just building that chemistry and building that time. And it's not only just here in the building, it's been outside the building too, getting together, just uh, getting to know them on a, on a personal level as well. So, you know, all that kind of plays into uh, to what we're going to be doing this year. You know, I read uh, a Mel Kuyper profile of you coming out in the draft. It just, he just did two words, smart and accurate. Is that proven to be true over your 11 years? If there's a couple, you know, things that I feel like that I've been really good at, I'd say it's both of those things. Uh, just being able to react quickly, to be able to get the ball to my hands and to, to get the ball to our guys in space and, and on time. What does Bill Lazor do for you to kind of bridge the gap to understand Matt Nagy as a play caller that will help you starting Sunday night? You know, Bill uh, and I have a great relationship, so I think, you know, we can... Uh, just kind of pull from that and there's a lot of things that I'll have questions on or uh, ask his opinion on and certain things and um, you know it's a guy that you can trust and you know that uh, he's gonna give you the honest answer and uh, you know I, I'm very thankful that Bill's here. Andy after all these years you still have that passion and love of the game. 100 percent you know I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't still love the game if I didn't still love preparing didn't love the training camp, didn't love all the little things that are involved in it. And so you spend time in the off season, you're a couple weeks out, you know, maybe a month out, and you start to miss the game of football. And, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm back in this thing. Now we're getting going. I've got a lot of passion for, for this game. And for us, we want to start off on the right foot and uh, get this thing going and uh, give us some momentum heading to the beginning of the season. Player Profile is brought to you by Advocate Healthcare.